Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, you will see how to read an image file from your download folder of your phone and show it as bitmap in image view widget of your Android app. So let's begin. Let's create a new project and we can name it as image file from download folder and click on finish. Wait for an environment to load, it may take a while. Once the environment is up, I'll also start the emulator in parallel on the right hand side. And first and foremost, I'll give the required permission in the manifest file. So one of the permissions what we need is the read media images. Uh, please note that read external storage and all are deprecated now. And read media images or media videos are the ones which you may be requiring. Apart from manifest file, we may also have to explicitly ask the end user and that we can do it in the onCreate method over here. Okay, so my emulator has come up, so I'll just minimize it for the time being, we don't need it uh, right now. Yeah, and over here, we'll explicitly ask the end user for the access to this particular permission, which is basically in the string format if it can take and if you can quickly go back here just control c come back and control v it will ask you to import so just press alt enter to import the respective library and package manager permission granted so this will be responsible to ask the end user for the permission now once we have it i don't think i need this reference so i can minimize it now i'll first try to complete my layout part in layout, what I will need is probably a button to trigger the access. So, show image download folder. So, here I am just focusing on download folder. However, the same concept will remain same for any folder which I will be showing in shortly. I will give you uh, this uh, plain text widget in which user can enter their input so i don't think i'll need give any initial text i'll give the constraints required constraints and i will give a hint over here just to mention image file name yeah so the user will enter the image file name this text i don't think i need it if i need i'll re-enter here i think i missed to give the constraints so that's why it's still giving me some kind of error and warning i think over here i should give some id which is already given but i think i'll just modify it and what else i'll need is from the common itself something called image view so this is the place where we'll display our image you can choose any background it doesn't matter you can resize it and just give the constraints and id i'll leave it as it is perfect i'll go to the java code and first define the class variable for these widgets. One is the image view and the other one was the edit text. Edit text and both of this I will initialize in my own method itself r.id.edit text and the second one is image view find view by id r.id.image view perfect. And also I'll create a public method, public void method, public void, which will be my button on click attribute. So button image show. Uh, you can name this method anything, it doesn't matter. However, you have to associate this method with the on click attribute of this particular button. So go back here. And if you scroll down, there will be something called on click attribute. You just associate it here and that should be good enough. So I think from layout perspective we are done and if I come back quickly here, so the code is also simple. The thing what we will be using is the storage manager over here and it will use get system service and the storage service. Yeah, this is what we need. It may ask you to type cast. So just do it. Just press I think alt enter and it will ask you to cast the expression to storage manager. Yeah, please do it. Once you have that. Then what else we can do is we can extract the volumes from this storage manager. So storage volume, storage volume, and storage 
manager dot get storage volume and I think instead of volume we should choose this volumes which will be written all the volumes external and internal and we can go for indexing which is the zeroth index is for internal so I can just go say zero is for internal storage and as I know one is for external if there are any more uh, storage uh, so I think we'll have to check the respective index but it should be to uh, problem anyway so once you have the storage volume so we will be accessing our file from here so we will just create a file a variable file input image is a name I can give and this file could be new file and over here we may have to give the file path name right so uh, this will be storage volume dot get directory and then got dot get path so this will take me to the internal storage and then probably I will have to append the further names which will be probably one will be like uh, yeah we will at least browse up to the download folder manually and then probably here we'll give the uh, file name from this edit text so that will be edit text dot get text dot two string i don't know if two strings will be required but anyway and the file extension name is what i will append manually which will be dot jpeg so the user is only required to enter the file name and extension and all things will be added in the code itself yeah so i'm just making it like this yeah so once our file name is there then job is pretty much straightforward now we can use the bitmap and bitmap image you can name this for even anything image uh, file and you can use something called bitmap factory so i'm not sure why it is not coming bitmap factory dot decode file yeah and here we can give the input file image and probably here the get path the path is required and not the file name as such file variable it will be in a string format is what i understand anyway once that's done then we can just simply set image bitmap for this particular bitmap what we have just now created so that's all i'm running the code now again in the emulator hope it will work let's see so let my emulator come up yeah it is coming up and it's asking for the access to files from download folder so please do it do allow all don't miss out yeah so once you have it before i go ahead i'll just show you i have already got few images image files in my download folder one thing to note over here although the name is downloads but the folder name is as well as i know it's just download and not s so there are few images one is images dot jpg images one jpg and there are few more images probably uh, yeah so once let's try one by one first let's try with simple one which is images images and no i think it's images or image i'm not sure it's images okay so s is there uh, and if i click this perfect so if you see it works then there was another image called images one i'll just click here this also works fine then there are a few more images i think these three are same image but with different file i'll do one thing i'll rename one of these with a file name so something like images 2 and click ok no but this is i think no this is i is capital so i don't want to yeah it's, i think as far as i know it's case sensitive so i'll keep it a small and no it's because this part is yeah and no click ok so this is well to in i'm not sure okay i'll use the capital i no problem in my code itself so i'll go back to my uh, this one 
app and images two is what the file name is with i capital perfect yeah so i can quickly try out it should fail because it's a case sensitive see if i'm clicking nothing is happening because it's case sensitive as right now and if i change it to a small i it should work now yeah okay so that's all i wanted to show you that it's pretty okay it's not case sensitive sorry about that i think yeah so you can use any of the file name images one two yeah so that's all i wanted to show you uh this case yeah so yeah you have to just give the file name and there's all things i need we have hard coded the folder the extension and all yeah so i just wanted to show you how easy it is to access the uh, files many people um, many of my audience have been asking about this particular question that how to access from the uh storage or the uh, internal storage memory which is not within the app folder for the app folder you can use that get file directory option however for accessing from the uh, other folders like download and all you should use this storage volume from the storage manager uh, options yeah so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day. bye